Hi, I'm Sarah from Eridani Studios, and today we are going to paint some ears. I've got some fawn ears for Caduceus Clay, and some Nomad ears for Ian and Barley from Onward. And then we have some Wood Elf ears that I will be painting light, and Anime ears that I will be painting medium, and Moon ears I will be painting dark. So, uh, here we go! Okay, so for some reason I decided to do the Caduceus clay one first because that's what I had set out. So we will start painting that. So I normally start with gray and then leave the middle to do pink. And I always try to get enough paint, but not any globs of makeup on it. So a nice full coverage without leaving it too thick. And I like for Caduceus to do a mix of Graftobian RMG Thunder Gray and Frankie Gray. And especially when I'm blending colors, I like to make sure that I'm blending the right amount on both ears so they still match. And then I try to do the unpainted part and then leave the blending to the end. And latex ears are not super delicate, so feel free to kind of bend them and place them on your hand however you need to get the makeup where it needs to go. So I came back in with a gray sponge to kind of blend the two together. And to fix any parts that I smudged a little pink on. And then with this style of ear, I actually like to go out to the very edge. It is fun looking at all the different fan art and trying to decide which one I'm going to try to match. That's why it's always a good idea to email the particular photo that you like the best for us to match. Okay, and then once you are done with painting, I also sometimes smear makeup around with my fingers. Just depends. Depends on how I feel. So I had to go grab a powder puff because I forgot that. And so to powder ears, um, you 
want to put a little bit of powder on here. I normally like to knock it off to make sure that there's a nice light coating. And I just tap it on there. And then to finish, I kind of brush the last bits of powder off. And if you've ever been to the Ren Fair, then you have probably seen us do this. And it is just the easiest way to set rubber mask grease makeup. Okay, and there's the Caduceus clay ears. So next we are going to paint some Ian and Barley from Onward Ears. And those are a light blue with pink towards the end, which feels ab about like what I just did. Didn't realize that when I posted that on Instagram. And Fawn take a lot longer to paint. These ears are very quick. And like the other ears, if I know I'm going to do another color, I try to go light on the makeup there so it blends nice and the colors don't get muddy. Like I said, don't worry about if you have some spots that need to be touched up, just take the other sponge and just fix it right up. And I really like the Nomad and the Moon have this great little edge and I love to try and accent that. And then same thing, light powder, tap it off, tap it onto the ears. And when I'm not doing a video, I like to wear a face mask during this part. And there are the onward ears. Now we're going to paint some wood elf ears in the light skin tone. So we start off with Graceful Swan RMG from Graftobian. And we do it on the flap in the front half of the ear. And I like to do the same color on both ears at the same time. And then I keep different sponges for each different color. And then we do medium highlight on the back half. And just so you know, all of Eridani's ears are designed to have the flap go to your temple and this back part wrap around the side of your ear. Totally cool if you want to wear them backwards. Up to you. Just some people are like, oh, it was so hard to put on my ears. And then I tell them and they are very grateful. And I like to put rose blush along the back edge. And 
And for my ears, I have to put tons of rose blush because I have very red ears. But it just depends on the person. And you can always order custom ears off the website. And you can send in a photo. We have a whole article on how to take the best photo to color match your ears. Or if you've ever gotten Aridani ears, you can say, oh, they were normally a little too pink for me. Anything to help us make your dream elf ears come true. And those are the light. Then we'll powder them. just takes a little bit of powder. If you use too much powder, you get a sheen over everything. And there you go. There's the light ears. And we are going to paint these anime ears in a medium skin tone. And for that, we use dark bronze. And just paint it lightly over the whole ear. And this is a little different than the Onward and other character ears where I like to leave the different colors blank. With the skin tone, I like the rose blush mixed into the skin tone. It looks a lot nicer and more blended. And I really like the makeup pads from Graftobian. They're really nice and they last a really long time. And that's where we get our spirit gum, our spirit gum remover and a lot of our other makeup supplies. Okay, so I did dark bronze over the whole ear and then went back. And the back of your ear also is normally a little rosy. And then we powder this. And if the powder is ever too thick or leaves a shiny residue on it, you can always put a little more makeup over to change the sheen of it. And those are the medium anime ears. Okay, and the final ear for today, we are going to paint these moon elf ears in our dark skin tone. And we use milk chocolate from Graftobian for that. And you paint the whole ear in milk chocolate. And we use a different finishing powder, setting powder, um, for darker skin tones so that they don't get the same sheen that the plain talc has. Yeah, we actually tried, I think, 10 different setting powders and sprays to see which one looked the best. And when people order custom ears, sometimes I use three different setting powders. And I am running back and forth from the makeup table to the computer, squinting my eyes like, does this match the photo? And switching between the two screens because it's slightly different. And I just want everybody to get the most perfect ears. And it's easier at the Ren Fair 
because we're in person and we're in the same lighting together versus when you're taking a picture and then it going to a computer screen and what we see. Though so still at the Ren Fair, if it's sunny versus cloudy, it's always an adventure, that's for sure. Okay, and then just a light coating of the setting powder. And there are the finished moon ears. Well, thanks for joining me today. And just so you know, we can match any skin tone and any character. Well, I'll try to match them perfectly. Um, and uh, see you next time.